How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a short little tip video. This is, might be something that you've encountered. So we're out here, we're using the angle grinder and uh, with the cutoff wheel there, I wasn't very mindful of the extension cord or the cord coming from it and I nicked the cable. So you can see here that I cut basically through the neutral on the wire. And what a lot of people would typically do in this situation, even though the power tool was still running, is that they'd just throw some electrical tape on that and call it a day. And since I nicked all the way through the neutral there, and there's only a few strands holding it together, the tool itself still works, but it's not um, an ideal situation. So if I tape this up, this wire is probably going to get a lot hotter because it's pushing more current through a smaller space or it's pushing the same amount of current through a smaller space. So it's most likely going to get hot and possibly melt the electrical tape or anything like that that would be around it. So the most inexpensive way of fixing this would just be to buy a little plug-in like this. You can get them at Lowe's or Home Depot. Pretty well, most hardware stores are going to have one of these. And uh, we can just basically cut the wire, cut the damaged wire right here and reattach this guy. So I'm just going to cut this right here. If I take off a bit of insulation, I'm just using some standard strippers. Standard strippers. And if I just lightly slice through the insulation, I can start to see what's going on in the inside here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to strip off a little bit more here. And again, I'm using these strippers and these are cutter blades right here, but I'm just going very lightly and just skimming the insulation. So I'm not, I don't want to cut into the wire, obviously, but I want to cut it enough just so that I can break it and spin it around. I might even be able to pop this off just like that. Now, if you're going to cut the wire like that, the, a good thing to do is to inspect your wires here and just to make sure that you didn't dig into any of them. Now, all this little string here, we just want to pull them down and then trim them right off, just like that. Now we want to make sure a few things here. Now we're going to notice on this wire that there's only a black and a white. So we've got our hot and we've got our neutral. On this end plug here, we've got our hot, our neutral, and then we also have a ground. We don't have that case here. Now when we open this guy up here, we can see that there's two screws. There's one screw on this side here, and then if we flip it around, there's another screw here. Now how do you know which wire goes on which side? So on one side, there's going to be a silver screw, and that's going to be your neutral. If you flip it around, on the other side, there's going to be a brass screw. So that's the side that you're hot the hot one goes on, the black one. Now we want to make sure that we didn't cut off too much insulation because we want this black part to be under where this clamping, this clamping force is here. So if we can just loosely put that in there and then we bring this down, we can see we're, we're definitely good on this, on this black piece right here. So on this guy here, we can probably trim off, I'd say another quarter of an inch off the black and the white. And use our strippers here to probably take about another quarter inch off or so. So if we're looking at this from the back, the hot goes in there and then the neutral will go in there. So the neutral again is going under the spot where there is the silver screw and then the hot will be going under the spot where there is the brass screw. So then all we have to do is tighten down this side here and it's a clamp so it'll nice it'll get it real nice and tight come to the other side tighten that down Now we can take this and then we can tighten the screws that clamps down on the, on the cable here. Tighten down that side. 
And there we go. We've got a new end to our power tool here. Plug this in. So that's our handyman quick tip. We actually do this quite a bit when doing certain um, electrical appliances and stuff, is that uh, I think normally we do it for a dishwasher, is that there usually isn't anything wired up for the dishwasher. So we have to make our own little power cords like this to be able to plug it into the wall. Something else that people like to do with extension cords, which is a really, really bad practice, is that say they have an extension cord that doesn't have a ground plug in it, um, then they'll take something like this and then they'll just cut off the ground and they'll cut off the grounds on a lot of their extension cords and that's a really, really bad practice. Just get the right extension cord so that you don't have to do that because the grounding of the extension cord is something that could potentially save you from getting a pretty decent electrical shock. So it's a really bad practice, don't do it. Awesome guys, thanks so much for watching. Catch you on the next video, talk to you soon. Peace.